can you solve this geometry challenge? Here's the question. So given this figure, this segment measures 7 units. This segment measures 5 units. And this segment measures 7 units. And the remaining segments, they are all equal and they are all equivalent to x. Now, our goal in this question, of course, is to find the value of x. Now, pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question. Because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. So, given this figure, the goal is to find the length of this segment x. All right. So to answer this, we will use one concept. And this concept is what we call the law of cosine. So the law of cosine states that the square of a side of a plane triangle equals the sum of the squares of the remaining sides minus twice the product of those sides and the cosine of the angle between them. Or simply in notation, we have c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2ab times cosine of c. So using this cosine law, we can now solve for the value of x. And to use the cosine law, let's call this angle be equal to theta. And since this is a linear pair, so this angle, the remaining angle, is just 180 minus theta. All right, now let's use this triangle and apply the law of cosine. So using the law of cosine in this triangle, we simply have 7 squared equals x plus 5 squared plus x squared minus twice the product of x plus 5 and x times the cosine of the angle between them or cosine theta. Now let's simplify this. 7 squared is 49. x plus 5 raised to the power of 2 is x squared plus 10. x plus 25. And then bring down x squared. And then let's have negative 2x multiplied by x plus 5. Bring down times cosine theta. And now let's combine like terms x squared and x squared and 49 and 25 so we have 2x squared plus 10x minus 24 minus 2 times x times x plus 5 times cosine theta now notice we have even coefficients so let's divide all of this term by 2 and now what we're going to do here is to solve for the value of just cosine theta so if we rearrange some terms a little bit we get that the value of cosine theta Simply equivalent to x squared plus 5x minus 12 all over x multiplied by x plus 5. Now, let's set aside this result. And now, using our second triangle and applying the law of cosine in this triangle, we have something like 7 squared plus x squared plus 5 squared minus the product of x and 5 and multiplied by the cosine of the angle between them or times cosine of 180 degrees minus theta. Now, simplifying this, we have 49, bring down x squared, 5 squared is 25, minus 10x times cosine of 180 degrees minus theta. And now, combining like terms, 49 and 25, so we have x squared minus 24, then the rest is bring down. And now, what we're going to do is to get the value of just cosine of 180 degrees minus theta. So we have x squared minus 24 all over 10x. Now, let's focus on these two results. And now, what have you noticed? We have an identity that relates cosine of 180 degrees minus theta and cosine theta because cosine of 180 degrees minus theta is simply equivalent to negative of cosine theta. Therefore, we can replace this as negative cosine of theta. Now, to get the value of just cosine theta, let's multiply both sides by negative 1. So, cosine theta simply equal to 24 minus x squared all over 10x. Now, they have both equal to cosine theta. It follows that these two expressions are also equal like this. Now, this equation is in terms of x, so we can now find the value of x. So, let's focus on this result. And now, one thing to notice is if we multiply both sides by x, we eliminate the factor of x on the denominator. So this is just 1. And then what we're going to do is to cross multiply. So we have 24 minus x squared times x plus 5 and 10 times x squared plus 5x minus 12. And multiply this 
expression on the left hand side. This will give us negative x cubed minus 5x squared plus 24x plus 120. Now combining like terms and equate this to 0, this will give us x cubed plus 15x squared. Just add 5x squared on both sides and then subtract 24x on both sides to get 26x and then subtract 120 on both sides and get negative 240. And also this equivalent to 0. And now let's focus on this result. Now, this is a cubic equation in terms of x and this is hard to factor. So we will use what we call the synthetic division or simply the continuous synthetic division. And to do that, we need the factors of this constant term 240. Now the factored form of 240 is simply equal to 2 raised to the power of 4 times 3 times 5. And uh, now, let's use synthetic division. So let's have half box. And we need the coefficient of this cubic equation. So we have 1, 15, positive 26, and negative 240. Now let's check one factor. How about 2? Now bring down 1. 1 times 2 is 2. And then 15 plus 2 is 17. 17 times 2 is 34. 26 plus 24 is 60. 60 times 2 is 120. This is too short. And technically, this is not equal to 0. So 2 is not the value of x that satisfies this equation. So let's try add another number. So let's have 3. Why not? So bring down 1. 1 times 3 is 3. 15 plus 3 is 18. 18 times 3 is 54. 26 plus 54 is 80. 80 times 3 is 240. And negative 240 plus 240 is technically 0. Therefore, x equals 3 is a solution to this cubic equation. And now let's continue. Using continuous synthetic division, we have 1, 18, and 80. Now, this is not hard to see that negative 10 will make the remainder equal to 0. So let's try 1, bring down 1. 1 times negative 10 is negative 10. 18 plus negative 10 is positive 8. 8 times negative 10, there you have it, negative 80, and this is 0. And again, use continuous synthetic division. And again, this is not hard to see that negative 8 will make the remainder equal to 0. Because if we bring down 1, 1 times negative 8 is negative 8. 8 plus negative 8 is technically equal to 0. Therefore, we can say that we found three roots in this cubic equation. One is x equals 3. The second is x equals negative 10. And the third is x equals negative 8. But take note. What we're going to do here is a geometry problem and not an algebra problem. And x here is a side length, so it cannot be a negative value. Therefore, we can say that x, the only value of x, simply equal to 3. That is the legit value for x. So given this figure and given this equation, we found only one value of x that satisfies this equation, which is x equals Three that fits in our question. Therefore, given this figure, the value or the length of the segment x simply equal to 3 units. And as always, we are done.